Thanks for watching the Council in Brief. I'm Susan Kennedy. We're here with the latest news of the Montgomery County Council. This week, members of the Council's Transportation and Environment Committee met to discuss the Capital Improvements Program as it relates to roads, bikeways, and mass transit. The CIP includes dozens of projects designed to improve mobility across the county, including the construction of Montrose Parkway East. The project would build a four-lane divided highway adjacent to Randolph Road, connecting Rockville Pike to Veers Mill Road. It would include a bridge over the railroad tracks, as well as a bike path and a sidewalk. The parkway is seen as an east-west connection that will encourage development near Metro. The project has been on the books for decades, and committee members are sharply divided on whether construction of the roadway should be included in this proposal or postponed again. Much of the discussion around the decision hinged on the potential arrival of Amazon to Montgomery County and what's needed to support that. We have to make decisions now knowing what we, with the, the world that exists now. And the world that exists now has lots of unmet need that we know not just the public wants, but Amazon wants too. Um, you know, I've been out to Seattle and talked to them about why they're in downtown Seattle. And they brag about how uh, they are not out in a suburban office park like Microsoft and Apple. They love transit-oriented development. They love multimodal transportation. They invest in buildings to house their workers right next to their office buildings so that people can walk to work. I have been an advocate for Montrose Parkway East as long as I've been on the County Council. Uh, it has routinely gotten delayed and I, you know, ended up have had to go along with it over the years, but to, to suggest that it's not of critical importance to, the, to both the residents of that area, faced with the prospect of an enormous number of new uh, employees and jobs in that location is breathtaking. Now, in the end, the committee voted to delay construction of the parkway for three years, and we're done. freeing up $94 million for other transportation initiatives. However, if Amazon does choose Montgomery County for its new headquarters, Roger Berliner says the CIP will be revised to move the construction of Montrose Parkway East back in the queue. I have said repeatedly that if Amazon were to choose Montgomery County, this project would move forward as originally proposed. I have said that publicly. This is not about whether, this is about when. The proposed solution, which is to say, well, we're not going to fund it, except if Amazon comes, we will fund it, throws into question all our decisions on the capital budget. I do not know what my council colleagues are thinking. The full council will vote on the transportation recommendations in the CIP on March 20th. Recently, the Council's Health and Human Services Committee received an update on the county's food security plan. Committee Chair George Leventhal told us how the plan is progressing. The county's done a much better job of mapping where food pantries and food distribution services are, and it's published a resource guide which is widely available at um, service delivery facilities, houses of worship, and other facilities where people in need interact uh, with county government and with other service providers. So. There are a lot of opportunities for families who are food insecure to get access to food. We're just trying to better coordinate those resources and make sure that we achieve uh, better penetration in areas of the county where folks are really struggling, where their income is not adequate to pay rent and buy groceries, um, and help is available. And finally, as part of the regular council session, a proclamation from Present council member Sidney Katz to present comfort cases in recognizing that every child has the right to a dignified experience in foster care. Today, the county council joins with comfort cases to recognize and attend the emotional and mental health needs of child abuse victims. We are saying no more trash bags. This is your issue. This is my issue. This is our issue. We must stand today and decide that not only is Montgomery County no longer going to allow trash bags, but we're going to show every county this is how you t treat children that enter the system. You give them dignity, you give them hope, you give them a future, but most important, make them feel wanted. That wraps up this edition of the Council in Brief. For County Cable Montgomery, I'm Susan Kennedy. Thanks for watching.